Hi everyone, my name is Precious 18. I am inspirational speaker, gospel artist. May God bless you as you listen to this message today. I just want to encourage someone out there. Yes, I don't know your season, but this message is for you. You that need it. And I pray that this message will bless your life. Because this message just come at the right time. I just want to encourage you. I don't know the season that you are in. Yes. It might be a season of you celebrating. It might be a season of you crying. It might be a season of you asking yourself a lot of questions. But this message is for you today that is watching me. That we are in this world for different purpose for a reason we did not just come it's god that created us and make us who we are today and i want to let you know when you are in a season that look as if everything is turning around in a way that you don't like i want to encourage you today that the bible lets us know in the book of psalm that weeping may stay for a night but joy comes in the morning this bible verse reminds us that even in a difficult season you can still find joy yes you can still find joy i want to pray with you today that god i serve who never disappoints will not disappoint you so i don't know the season that you are in right now i don't know what you are going through watching me right now this message is for someone out there i want to let you know that your season of difficult time is gonna turn to something that you will rejoice about it in the mighty name of jesus i also want to let you know if you're in the season of celebration laughter rejoicing may your laughter may your happiness stay forever in the mighty name of jesus whatever that you are going through in this season is going to turn around to be for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. But something I want to let you know is that never you give up. Never you give up is a word that I normally use in my inspirational messages. Never you give up is very important in our life because when you give up on yourself by hanging yourself or by hurting yourself or doing something that is not right how are you gonna testify tomorrow for what the lord has done things that happens to you doesn't just happen yes because there is a time and season for everything that thing that happened to you was meant to happen but how you come out of it is something you have to testify the goodness of god keep being who you are keep staying strong even the book of jeremiah 29 verse 11 also let us know for i know the plan i have for you declared the lord plan to protect you and not to harm you plan to give you hope and better future this verse also remind us that god almighty has a better plan for you and me yes he has a better plan for us so today i'm here to let you know the season that you are in right now and that season over to god almighty yes he can turn every situation around our god is faithful to do all things yes don't think that the devil will just win no devil can never win yes it doesn't matter what you are going through but i want to let you know the devil can never win yes he's gonna shake he's gonna shake they will try you understand whatever is happening to you will keep happening but when you hand it over to god almighty it's gonna turn around to be for your good if you are celebrating in this season keep celebrating keep rejoicing because it is your season of celebration i want to congratulate every man and every child and mother out there that you should keep being yourself you should be so prayerful you should be so so nice to people the bible says that we should love our neighbor as ourselves yes it's very important for us to love our neighbors it's very important for us to check on our neighbors it's very important for us to be there for one another so what am i trying to say i came here today to let you know there is a time and season for everything i don't know what you are going through but everything 
everything i mean when i say everything everything will turn around to be for your good in the mighty name of jesus god almighty will protect you and protect everything that belongs to you god who kept you from january from the day you were born that same god will never leave you or not forsake you that same god that has started with you from january now we are in february this same god will take you to the end of this year and you will rejoice yes as i said before there is time and season for everything yes when you are in that season when you are in that season you check yourself and you know that you are going through something that thing might be sickness it might be you don't have a job it might be your family it might be your children whatever you are going through in this season it might be that there is something that you have been praying for looking for all this well that has not come yes it is that season that you are expecting something it is that season that you are praying for that thing to come to pass to manifest you ask yourself god where are you why am i going through this old challenge why me am i the only one no you are not the only one it's because you have been chosen yes you are not the worst sinner on earth we all are sinners yes but we go to almighty god and we pray the book of jeremiah has told us that this is for god knows the plan he has for you he has for me today i came here to let you know that god has a better plan for you that god has a better plan for you keep praying stay focused and believe in yourself and you will see what god almighty will do in your life he's gonna turn the table around he's gonna prove himself he's gonna show you that it is god almighty i will set one example for you sometime in life you go through difficult time i remember 2019 a lot of things happen to me let me use myself as example but god came true god came true god did not let me down that is god that was that season so what season are you as long as you are a living person as long as you are a human being a lot of things will happen to you you will face challenge you will go through difficult time you will face some challenge that you will ask yourself what will i do why is this why is this happening to me because you are a child of grace because you have been chosen because god loves you if you are dead you will not go through that challenge but as long as you are alive you will go through that difficult time yes you go through it you will overcome it and you start rejoicing and you start celebrating you ask yourself so a few months ago i went through this oh my god what has happened to me thank you jesus yes because that was yesterday because that was then but now you are in a new season of celebration do you think that this problem whatever you are going through will stay forever never never god almighty did not promise us a life without challenge God Almighty did not promise you and me a life without challenge. You will go through it. You come out of it. And you will give testimony. You wait. Another one comes. But one thing you should know is that any challenge that doesn't take your life, give glory to God Almighty. Because there is a purpose. There is a purpose. You celebrate today, there is a purpose of you celebrating. You see today, there is a purpose. 
you sleep and wake up there is a purpose you face challenge of sickness i don't know there is a purpose of that sickness there is a purpose of that situation what you should not do is to give up what you should not do is to give up stand up on your feet say i refuse I refuse to give up. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to fight for it. I'm going to win. I will succeed. But God let your will be done. God let your will be done because I know who I am. I know you call me. You sent me to this world for a purpose. I leave it for you. You alone. You alone can save me. You alone can pull me out. You alone sees it all. You make sure your hand is clean. Your heart is pure. You don't wish people bad. You make sure that you do your best. To love your neighbor and to be yourself. You know, there is a life you live. You will check yourself. You will ask yourself a question. Who am I? Are you a good person? Are you a bad person? You change from it to be a better person. You can examine yourself. You don't wait until somebody say, you, I know you, you are a very wicked person. You keep malice, you do this. No, you yourself should know who you are. Are you an open-minded person? Do you love people around you? Do you let things lie? You can examine you, yourself. This message is for someone. Never you give up. It's going to be tough because you are a living person. Challenge you come. You are alive. Face it. Fight. Win. Succeed. Yesterday, I heard that someone died. I don't know his name. I'm so sorry. I just want to say the example. Either he's a CEO of a bank. He has all the money. This same money, people are chasing. He has everything. Connection. Everything. If it was sickness, maybe they would use money. But he died through plane crash. Just like that. We came to this world for a purpose. Don't hurt one another. What you think that somebody will do to you, you yourself will not like it. Don't do it to someone else. Don't do it because it will come back to you. Even though you did not do it to someone and something happened in your family, leave it to God. As long as you did not do it to anyone, leave it to God. Pray to God Almighty. Because you are innocent, God will fight for you. God will see you through. So, the plan of God in our life is for good and not for bad. He will see you through. He will help you. He will lift you higher. A God is too good to fail. A God is so faithful. He's so worthy. He's so nice. He's so kind. He's so awesome. All glory and honor belongs to Him alone. So may God Almighty bless you. May God see you through. May God provide for you. May God make a way for you. May God guide you. May God fight all your battles. 
May God heal you. May God bless you. May God direct you to the right path. Don't judge. Don't judge people. Think about yourself. Every rest. May God see you true and see me true. So this message today, share it out. Let this message bless someone out there. It doesn't just come on this channel. Once in a while, when I come out, I know what I'm saying. May God bless you. Follow me, Precious Ate Page. God will see you through. God will bless you. So that anytime I'm live, you will be the first to listen to my inspirational message. Because it's gonna change your life. Yes. May God see you through. Keep being who you are. God is seeing you. And he will bless you. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Thank you for this message. Bless my friends and my well wishes out there in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. May God bless you. Thank you. And stay blessed. Precious 18. One love.